the best thing to do is kind of this is meant to be soundproof i hope you loved it as much as i filmed what's up everyone i hope you're all doing well i don't know if i'm allowed to say welcome back to my channel just yet because it has been three very long years i feel like so much has changed so i wanted to kind of just sit down today and do a little updated q a because obviously my first video i was literally a baby i was only 21 missed them days but i'm now 24 a lot has changed and i thought the best thing for me to do is kind of answer some questions because obviously my answers would change a lot as well um, I'm such a waffler, so before I go off on a tangent, I'm just going to dive right in. But please subscribe guys, make sure you like this video, watch it till the end, leave me a comment on what kind of videos you guys would like to see, and stay tuned for the rest of this video. So the first question is what's changed since your first video? Honestly, so much has changed like my personal life, my work life. I have literally accomplished so many things that I am so proud of and it's kind of hard to kind of sit back and see all your accomplishments sometimes but the last few weeks especially I've really been reflecting on everything that I've accomplished and one of them being this bad boy and I'm just honestly so proud of it all. I will do like a proper like sit down video where I talk to you guys about my book Instagram. If you guys don't have it already I will put the link in the comments. Wait no I said that completely wrong. I will put the link. What is that? Oh god I need to learn YouTube lingo. In the description box that's where I'm gonna put it. Um, so yeah, I will do a whole video on the whole process of this because it was something that I never expected would ever happen but the whole process was obviously like quite long, it was quite, even though it was really really fun at times, sometimes it was quite stressful so I think one day I'm going to sit down and just really talk you guys through everything for anyone who's like interested in writing a book or for anyone who wants to do something similar and just wants some guidance basically. The second question is, how is your fitness journey going? Honestly, alhamdulillah, it couldn't have been going any better. This is four weeks of me being consistent now. Like four weeks that I've been going to the gym five days a week. And even when I'm not going to the gym, I'm still walking and I'm doing like minimum 10,000 steps a day. I feel like if someone told me a very long time ago that all it would take for someone as competitive as me was an Apple Watch, I would have got one sooner, guys. I would have got 10. How about that? Because this literally is the most motivating thing ever. I am currently in competition with my friend Chloe and my cousin Yusra. We've been like competing with each other to meet our goals basically. But at the same time, it's a healthy competition because we've been like motivating each other. They push me to get out of bed. Sometimes I'll wake up and like Chloe's done a workout at 6 a.m. and I'm like, wait, what? Chloe's on 70%? No way. And I'll jump out of bed. And I'm not normally like that. I'd get out of bed at 7am, go to the gym, do all kinds of stuff. So it's been really, really good, honestly. And even my cousin, like, she's been motivating me with diet, food-wise. Like, obviously, after you've just worked out, you're not going to want to ruin that by eating bad. So I've been a lot more conscious about what I'm eating. And mentally and physically, honestly, I've just been feeling so much better. I wake up with so much energy. I don't feel like an old lady with, like sore bones all the time i feel great alhamdulillah and i'm gonna keep going i'll keep you guys updated on my stories if you guys follow me on insta you can see on my story all the time i will share my daily progress basically so you guys can stay tuned but yeah i am such a waffler and this is just the question that i really really liked so before i continue going off on tangents and waffling let me jump to this the third question, how do you keep yourself motivated to create content? Honestly, I think sometimes with content creating, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, it does get a little bit difficult sometimes because you don't always want to be doing the same things. That's why when I jumped on TikTok, I felt so excited by it because it was something completely different. I could show like my personality a little bit more and I actually do have a little bit of a personality. So I was excited to kind of do videos that didn't have to be like so neat and structured all the time. Um, so I think just jumping on new things, exploring new things, 
always trying to be yourself that kind of gives me the motivation to create these content because if there's ever an opportunity for me to create a content create a content create a content that's gonna show people the real me i'm just like yep let me jump in love it the fourth question is what inspired your makeup book what inspired me was when i was first learning to do makeup i kind of was learning through YouTube videos and I think YouTube videos are great for like when you are just just in your bed chilling and you just want to watch and pick up some techniques and stuff but when you're trying to like follow it through and like you're trying to get ready for an occasion for example and you're like trying to follow the steps pausing and playing pausing and playing like it's it gets a bit difficult it's a lot more it's not as easy to follow so I really wanted something that was like super easy to follow I was writing like articles on The Guardian before I started my book and um, my articles were kind of like step by step so this was really inspired by that so just how easy it is to follow when it's like okay number one do this number two do this and just like to have pictures as well I thought it would be really nice and just easy to follow I wanted something that people could just pick up and just leave open while they do their makeup and just be inspired by so that's literally what inspired me to create this little bundle of joy so the next question is can you recommend a good series on Netflix honestly for the past like month since I finished watching Money Heist I've been waiting for someone to ask me this question so I can go on talking about Money Heist like I regret that I did not jump on to watching that when everybody else was watching it because it is by far one of the best things I've ever watched, ever. And I think it's better than Hollyoaks and I'm a... I can't believe I just said that. I can't believe I just said that. It's better than Hollyoaks, guys. <laughs> and it's just lit, like... It just drew, like, I just felt like I was a part of them. It's, I can't even explain it, but you just have to watch it. You can't... Like, I, I can't even say too much on it, you just need to watch it, and then you will be like, yeah, no, I know what Henny was talking about. So, money heist, number one, make that your priority. The next question is, how long did you know your husband before marriage? So, I knew him for about a year and a half. Um, yeah, so just kind of talking as you do, and just, yeah, just kind of... I think in life you just have to, like as I grew older I kind of just started to realise just let things happen naturally and just kind of, like before I would put so much pressure on myself, oh yeah I can only have to be talking to a guy for like two years max and then he has to marry me but you really don't need that pressure, like you just need to let it go slowly, if it's meant to be honestly it will be like nothing will stop it from happening so yeah that's how long we knew each other, about a year and a half and then we got married. So the next question is, can you do a mukbang video? Honestly, I don't think I would ever do a mukbang video just because it really grosses me out, like when I'm like talking with my mouth full. But yeah, suggest me some other videos and I'd be happy to accommodate. So the next question is my go-to makeup product. I don't know if this would count as a makeup product necessarily because it is more in the skincare kind of range, but you know tinted lip balms? Love them. I'm gonna put them in the makeup category because they are tinted but I love wearing them like when I'm not wearing any makeup, when I'm wearing makeup. I just like that little like hint of colour that it adds to your lip and I'm just a, a huge huge fan of lip balm. Love them. So I would say a tinted lip balm is my go-to makeup product. The next question is how have you adapted to the married life? Honestly guys, to be honest with you, like I think adapting to married life was like one thing for me but when I first got married I had to also adapt to living in a whole other country because I lived in Switzerland for a few months and honestly like it was a very fun experience but like I think because it was just me and my husband kind of away in another country by ourselves like we had that time to kind of really get to know each other which I'm grateful for even more like obviously you can know someone but like you only really know them once you live with them so I think it was um I mean yeah I would say I adapted quite nicely it was easier to d adapt to 
my husband then it was easier to adapt to switzerland honestly that that was hard like adapting to a whole other country and like a whole lifestyle change that was pretty tough but i learned a bit of german so so win-win um but yeah i don't know if that answers the question to be honest because i'm actually such a waffler the next question is how did you and your husband meet we were actually introduced by khadija and ash's dating agency they have had one successful um matchmaking <laughs> relationship so don't know if that's a thing but they had one success story do you ever regret the past definitely wait a damn minute <laughs> absolutely not because the past is what made me who i am today and i feel like life is for making mistakes and learning from them and if you don't make those mistakes like nobody's perfect you're gonna have to make mistakes along the way to become at least close enough to perfect so i definitely don't regret anything from my past i think if anything i'm grateful for those lessons i'm grateful for those opportunities i'm grateful for everything honestly alhamdulillah um the next question is were you born in the uk i was actually born in somalia i came to the uk in like 2003 um yeah i've been here since and the uk is great but i don't think i would want to be here long term if i'm honest did you have a, a big wedding this is the last question guys um so i did not have a big wedding i had like a i would say a big nikah and then i had um a big honeymoon which i think i don't regret at all i thought i was going to regret not having a big wedding um because everybody was telling me oh you're going to regret not having a wedding but i actually don't alhamdulillah i think there is so much more like fun in not having a wedding because i personally don't believe weddings are for the bride i genuinely feel like, like i love going to weddings but i wouldn't want to be the bride at a wedding because i feel like they're just more for the guests and which is nice like making everybody else happy but me personally i'd like i'd like to go on holiday so i went all out for why you always lying we went all out for um our honeymoon every time i go to a wedding occasionally for the for the for the for the hour that i'm there i'll be like oh my god i wish i had a wedding but after that i was gone i'm good <laughs> like i'm like alhamdulillah i didn't have a wedding i feel so much better like just having a nikah and keeping it moving because that's genuinely the more important part for me um so yeah that is the last question i am such a waffler if you actually managed to get to the end you're a real one i appreciate you um so yeah Thank you so much for watching. I hope you love this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Or cash me outside. <laughs> I can't believe I said that in my first video, by the way, guys. I was actually so ratchet. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Let me know. Guys, there is a bus going by. And <laughs> I'm sorry, my attention span is so small. There is a bus going by that says, sorry, I don't speak low maintenance leave a comment share it as much as you can stay tuned for my next video i promise you will not wait three years for it i will be as consistent as i can also i'll be posting my chicken wrap recipe that a lot of like a lot of people on instagram have been asking for i will post it and you guys will have everything you need to know i'll do some more recipes on here so yeah stay tuned give it a big thumbs up if you aren't subscribed already make sure you subscribe so you know whenever i post and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.